Okay, the last round of examples, and this time we're using semicircles. The region above bounded by y equals 1 half x and y equals x and y and x equals 4 is the base of a solid S. If the cross sections perpendicular to the x axis are semicircles, so x axis, what is the volume of the solid? And as with all the videos, let us sort of lay this down flat a little bit so we can try to see what the overall shape looks like. Okay, so those are my three lines and perpendicular to the x-axis, so let's take a planar slice out of this and look at, look at it. Are semicircles, which means this will be a diameter and I have the top half of a circle. It could be the bottom half, I guess, but this is measuring a diameter. Okay, so I have a shape, a cross-section shape, that looks like this, where this diameter measures the distance vertically between these two functions. And I can find that quite easily by taking the top function minus the bottom function. So we know the diameter is equal to the top function x minus the bottom function one half x which will then equal one half x. But there's an issue the area will be in terms of the radius and the area of a circle is pi r squared. A semicircle, semi meaning half, is half of that. So I need to find the radius. If the diameter is a half x, the radius is half of a half x, which is one fourth x. And that means my area in terms of any radius r can be written as the area in terms of any value x and x is going to go all the way from zero, we can see it in the diagram, you can solve some systems to see it, all the way up to four. So I'll take cuts anywhere along there, but the area will be pi multiplied by my radius, which is one fourth x squared over two, which is equal to um, pi x squared over 32 because I have 1 fourth squared is 1 16th and I have this 2 in the denominator already so multiply by that 2 down there. Okay and as as with always I have this is the cross-sectional area perpendicular to x and I can find the volume which will exactly equal the integral from starting to stopping 0 to 4 of the cross-sectional area, pi x squared over 32, multiplied by an infinitesimal height of my little half-cylinder thing, which is going to be dx. And I can take the pi and the 32 out, they are constants, so that's equal to pi over 32 times the definite integral from 0 to 4 of x squared dx. And from here, we can take the antiderivative, so that's equal to pi over 32 multiplied by x cubed over 3, that's the antiderivative of x squared, you add 1 to the 2 and divide by it, evaluated from 0 to 4. and we put in the 4, we put in the 0, so I get that that is equal to pi over 32 multiplied by 4 cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. And we all know 0 cubed is 0, divided by 3 is 0. This makes no difference to my problem. So this will equal 4 cubed 
is going to give me 64, so that's pi over 32 multiplied by 64 thirds, and this 32 and the 64 become 2 and 1, so I get my final answer, which is 2 pi over 3.